Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to create an awesome text reveal animation with the help of Vegas Effect. From start to finish, everything you are going to see in this video, I am going to create that inside of After Effects. No third party plugins, neither outside footages. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with the normal settings. You can give it a name you like. First, take the type tool and type a text you like. You can use any font you like. Adjust the size and align it to the center. Go to effects and preset and search for Vegas effect. Double click to apply it on the text layer. First change the blend mode to transparent. Change the segment value to 1. Let's change the color to white for now. Also you can increase the width if you want. Now on the first frame add a keyframe on the rotation. Then go forward to 2 seconds and change the rotation value to minus 1. After that you can see this kind of animation on the text. Now select the text layer and press ctrl plus D or command plus D to make a duplicate of the text layer. On this layer change the length value to 0.01. Also let's change the color to a different color so we can see the changes. Increase the width to make the dot more visible. Also increase the hardness value to a maximum value. Make another duplicate of the text layer by pressing ctrl plus D and from this layer delete the Vegas effect first. Then we need to apply linear wipe effect on it. We can see the keyframes here on the transition completion. By default I get these keyframes but you can always do it from the effects control panel. As we already have the keyframes ready, let's change the angle a little bit. This looks good to me. Let's add opacity keyframe on those lines so it disappears at the end. Press U to see the applied keyframes and adjust the keyframes a little bit. Yeah, this looks fine to me. We can adjust it later if you need it. Select all the layers and pre-compose it. Let's call it text. Now we are going to animate this composition. For doing that, let's open scale, rotation and opacity property. On one second, add a keyframe on the scale and rotation. Now go to the first frame and change the scale value to a high value, something like this and change the rotation value to minus 70 or you can increase the rotation animation if you want. Similarly add opacity keyframe as well. Select these top two keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now open graph editor and change the graph curve something like this. Let's make the animation a little bit faster. So I am keeping all the animation inside 2 second duration. Also adjust the keyframe a little bit to make it more decent. Yeah this seems good to me. Alright let's create a solid layer and name it particle. On that layer, apply the effect called CC Particle System 2. Change the birth value to 0.7 and longevity value to 2.7. Now open producer and change the anchor point position something like this. Change x axis value to 200 and keep y axis value 3. Open physics, change the velocity value to 0.2 and gravity value to minus 0.1 open particle and change the particle type to quad polygon change birth size value to 0.41 and death size value 0.38 this is how you can create this kind of particle background now you guys don't need to search for this kind of particle footages. Let's create another solid layer. Let's call it BG for background. 
Now go to effects and preset and search for gradient ramp. Apply it on the layer, change the ramp shape to radial and choose the colors of your choice. Place the BG layer at the bottom. On the particle layer, add an effect called Color Balance HLS. Change the hue angle to match the particle with the background. Also change the blending mode of this layer to screen. Now add another solid layer for this lens flare effect. Go to effects and preset and search for lens flare. Apply it on the layer. Change the blending mode to add. Place the flare center somewhere like this. Reduce the brightness to 50. On the first frame, add a keyframe on the flare center. And at the end, change the flare center position something like this. So it can travel from left side to right side, just like this. Change the lens type to 105 mm prime. This looks fine to me, but we can add little bit glow on the text layer as well. For that, just open the text composition and apply glow effect on the top text layer. Adjust the values a little bit and it's ready. Now on the top, add an adjustment layer and apply curves effect on it. Change the curve something like this or you can change it according to your composition color. Nice. Let's change the points color so it can match with our composition. And at last, let's add some noise effect on it. A little bit of noise effect can be a game changer for this kind of reveal animation. You can use text, logo, anything you wish to reveal with this technique. So this is all for today. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe.